Claire, this is what we're going to do. We're going to release the rebel in you. OK. Ah! Ah! Craft is unnecessary. Yes! My goodness. I'm Amelia de Moldenberg, and I am a celebrity brand visionary. So I take your brand and I catapult it to the next level. So Claire, thank you so much for coming today. Um, so the reason you're here is because I'm a celebrity brand visionary and I'm here to reinvent your brand. Wow. Take your brand to the next level. Can I just ask who you've worked with? It, it, you know, what would be sort of the the big successes you've had? Yes, I've had so many successes that I actually couldn't couldn't tell you. Claire, before I rebrand you, I just need to get to know you a bit better. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Didn't you attack the Queen with a sausage? That right. is a dramatic reading of an incident that happened. Right, okay. I really liked eating sausage on toast with marmalade. It's like slippery and you're trying to hold it and you're trying to cut it long ways and it could just shoot out and like if you were there, it would shoot at you, do you see? Oh That's gosh. So why was the Queen there when you were making the sausage sandwich? My father trained racehorses and he trained horses for the Queen and so, and my brother does now. That's and so, really cool. How did she react? She was kind of cooler about it than you were about that pink ball. Just so you know. OK, as a jockey, you had a fierce rivalry with Princess Anne. Did things ever get heated? Any uh, fisticuffs? No, no. Is that yes? No. Your eyes are saying yes. It was a very long time ago, and, and we just there was just an incident in a race, and I bumped her by mistake, and then I won the race, and that wasn't good. Love that for you, uh -huh. honestly, love that. It's just sport. These things happen. It was... I mean, you know, sounds like it, you uh, cheated to no, me. No, no, I didn't. But, yeah, I guess sport, no, anything happens. No, I didn't. Yeah. It was an accident. Own it, Claire. Honestly, own it. This is the real you. What, so I deliberately tried to kill her? <laughs> I mean, you said it, not me. Found this photo of you. Very rebellious. I'm Claire and I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Is that you? That was pretty... Was that a good impression? I just had attitude. Yes, yes, attitude. Attitude. Yeah, attitude. Yep. And... And a killer jacket. Killer, killer. A killer. I've got a lot of ideas. I've got tons of ideas. That's fantastic. I'm For very... you. OK. And I made a presentation I wanted to show you. Brilliant. I'm going to move it. So you can see it properly. God, wow, that looks like one of the old... Um, yes, it is. It, it's, oh. It, Drake gave it to me. Drake himself. Drake gave it to me, that's Drake's. Mm -hmm. You ready? Oh, God, never been more ready. Claire. Yes. Balding. Yes. Your last name, you're not, you've got a lot of hair. So, not balding. Not balding. Not balding. This is just a few sort of things about you that I've just got from just watching you and just absorbing you. Raced horses with princesses. I did, a very long time ago. A very long time ago, but still factually correct. F factually correct, yes. OK, great. Eating breakfast with the Queen. Factually correct. Very cool. OK. Beloved animal lover. Do you mean that animals love me and I love them? I mean, you said it. OK. OK. And earned an OBE. Yes, I managed to steal one, yes. <laughs> I, I have an OBE. Do you? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Who gave it to you? Um, the Queen. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Yeah, she actually came to my house. I didn't have to go to hers. Gosh, that is That's unusual. the first, I know. OK, and the last one is literally no idea third leg is an innuendo. That is correct. Yeah. I'm mortified that that is the one... Memorable thing that I did in the Olympic coverage. Yes, it's the only thing I remember as well from that. Great. They're Would you have known cool. it was an innuendo? Oh, I had no idea. OK. I yeah. had no idea. Feel... Sometimes they refer to a horse having a fifth leg. In a way, I would have understood that as an innuendo, clearly. <laughs> I don't get it. OK. Like their tail? No. 
So here we go, racehorses, eating breakfast, beloved animal lover, earned an OBE, literally no idea, third leg was an innuendo. What does that spell? Uh, Rebel. See what you did there. I've always known that this was within you. The rebel inside you, metaphorically speaking. It's not like a person in you or anything like that. Like a freaky person, like, ah! Okay. And that's it. You're a rebel. You're, you're a bad bitch. Okay. So, Claire, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to release the rebel in you. Sports is your brand, but the sports you're choosing are, are, are quite dull, I would say. Uh, so I'm thinking, why don't we spice things up, choose a more rebellious sport, a more extreme sport, like... Da -da -da this. Is that like cage fighting? Exactly. UFC, but, yeah? But it's not just cage fighting. Mm. It's snail cage fighting. Snail. Snails fighting. Slime Master Fury has a significant weight advantage here, and obviously, as you can see as well, the confidence factor. He's got a certain pizzazz, an X factor about him. What's your own called? I'm Sloan Steady McGregor. Sloan Steady McGregor is pretending that he's not actually involved in this fight at all. Are you ready to rumble? I'm not sure that this is necessarily either a television or a radio sport. I'm just, you know, putting that out there. OK, just because it's too niche? M more because nothing's happening. So, Claire, the public need to see your inner rebel. So, you've been at a huge sporting event. Dressed like this. Yeah, I mean, just to ignore the fact that you're in full PPE right now. You've come back from a sporting event, fuming with the results, and you smash up your hotel room. And I am going to film it um, and leak it to the, to the press. Is there a danger that I just might look like a... A rebel? No. Uh, yes. Here, take this mallet, which I've just got for you. Thanks. And, um... What would make me... I don't know. Do your worst. Dogs are overrated. Oh, don't say that! Oh, um, Tim Hemman was never any good at tennis. He's lovely! Oh, oh. Okay, this is what we like to see. Go on, rip it up. This is really awful. Oh, there's an M&M. Oh, no, don't eat, eat that. that. Don't eat that. Why not? Don't I can eat that. that. Oh. Crust is unnecessary. Yes! Oh. <coughs> wow. I feel really bad now, cos... Yeah, I'm... you feel really bad. You're a bad, bad, bad woman. No, bad in a bad way, not bad in a You're good a way. Bad feel... You're a no, bad girl. No, I just feel really guilty. Really bad. No, guilty. Badass. <sighs> Badass. Oh. <laughs> the Olympics have been cancelled. Well, no, that actually happened. Like, right, they were postponed, it. and right. I did get through that. Okay. Just smash it up anyway! Yeah. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. This is great! OK, that was rebellious. Um, I think that's, that's, that's good enough, actually. Do you have a hoover? Because I'm not dealing with that. Oh, no, I'll clean it up, obviously. It's my mess, I'll Thank clean you. it up. Hello. Yeah, it went really well. Yeah, no, she's absolutely mental. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, but then good news. I've got a new sports show for you guys. Yeah, very exciting, super fast-paced. Exactly what Channel 4 are missing. OK, cool. Okay, speak soon. Bye.